Hello, I'm Dawn Bowerman and this is DB Hearing Center. Today what we're going to do is we're going to talk about impressions and what you can expect when you come into the office to have an impression done. Now these can be done for hearing protection or for uh, in-the-ear hearing aids or if you wanted a mold done that's going to connect to a BTE or to a slim tube or if you just want to have a impression or done for a mold for a regular hearing aid. It can be done years ago, that's how we did all hearing aids, but now we have little domes that fit um, just about everybody's ear. So the first thing we always do before we start any procedure is we want to use the otoscope to look inside the ear to make sure everything is healthy and normal. After I look inside your ear, what I'm gonna do is take this little tool and I'll do walk you through each one of the steps. Now one of the things I tell people is we have what's called an Arnold's reflux inside our ear canal and what that may cause sometimes when I put objects or sometimes if you put your your finger or something in there it's a gag reflex so sometimes you feel like you got a <coughs> or you may cough um, it may cause you to cough feel sick to your stomach things like that it doesn't last long um, it is because of this little reflex the Arnold reflex inside your ear and once we're done with the impression, it will go away. Now most people don't feel any discomfort or pain or anything like that from having an impression done. Others who don't like things in their ears, it's just a little uncomfortable, but really there, there is no pain. So what we do after we do the otoscope is I take this little tool, which is lighted on the end, and obviously everything that I'm gonna do is going to be sterile when I'm doing it to one of my customers. I just, for purpose of seeing, have everything separate here today. So this is one of the cotton pieces that would go inside the ear canal to protect the eardrum from the um, goop or from the, the things that we put inside your ear. It always slips your mind when you're trying to talk about it. But anyways, um, the impression material when it goes inside your ears, we want to protect your eardrum, so this goes in first. It goes inside your ear and then I would push it in with this light into the canal, pulling up on your ear and creating a bridge so everything is safely done. So using my model, which you're not really going to be able to see great, what we're going to do is we're going to stick it inside the ear. Usually I use a little pair of tweezers to get that in there. And then I just kind of push it in there with the lighted uh, device so I can see and it would, the strings would hang out just on the outside here and it would be on the inside of your canal. So it kind of looks like that. Then what we're gonna do is I have what's called an impression gum. There's various styles of um, material that you can use. I, I tend to like to use the impression gun just to me is a, an easier way. Other ways as with a syringe or things like that. So we fill to the end. This has already been filled, so it's hardened. Um, it's very expensive material, so I'm not going to actually do one. But what we do from that point is you have, you know, the, the um, little ball of cotton in there to protect your eardrum. Then what we're going to do is I'm going to create a bridge um, so that when I put this in your ear, your head doesn't move, so you kind of hold the head. And then I'm going to squeeze down, and the material is going to fill the ear canal. Then it'll fill the bowl or the conca of the ear right here on up all the way around. Now normally I take a full ear impression just to make it a little nicer for the people down in the manufacturers that's creating the mold. And uh, then we're going to take that out. The impression material would be in there. We're going to take a little piece of wax paper to keep the end flat, push it against the side of the ear. So again, I'm going to take the little impression material, stick it into the canal, squeeze the device, creating, and you know, my other hand would actually be pressing against your head to create a bridge so that you don't move your head and damage the eardrum. Everything is about safety to make sure everything we do, we don't hurt or, or damage anything. Filling it up, and then again, putting this little piece of um, just wax paper over the top, creating that flat surface. And then you have to sit for about five minutes. That's where the uncomfortable feeling sometimes comes in too, is just sitting there, you can't really hear anything. And for some reason, that's the time I like to talk to you when you can't really hear me. So I try to, you know, just stay busy, keeping an eye on the material, making sure that it's uh, getting firm. After it's firmed up, like I said, at about five or six minutes, then what I'm gonna do is um, gently pull back on the ear. Sometimes if you 
open and close your mouth. It helps uh, release that from the ear canal. I'm just twisting it gently to get it out, pulling back on your ear. Once I get it out, the actual uh, impression looks like this, which would be, again, the flat side is where the paper was, the wax paper was, Take the wax paper off. You have that nice flat surface. Um, this comes, the cotton comes right out of the ear with the uh, impression. And we have a really nice impression there to send down to our manufacturer. Now there's certain things that I'm looking for in these to make sure that uh, we've got the twists, the turns, and all the um, shapes of the ear canal. Uh, at some point, if you'd like, I can go over what each of those are. But today all I'm going to do is just show you that. So I actually have a left and a right that someone was gracious enough to do for me. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to put them in these boxes and ship them off to the company. And again, depending on what you're having done, if you're having a mold done for hearing aids or if you're having some sort of a safety uh, <coughs> safety mold done for maybe hunting, for lawn care, I do a lot for the landscapers, for the jails, I do a lot for the hunters. When I say jails, I mean the guards because it's very noisy in there. Um, for hunters, for shooting, we have some that are available that not only do they protect you from when you're shooting, but they also allow you to hear. So depending what you're looking for, uh, we can pretty much meet any of your needs, uh, including styles for hearing aids. If you have any questions, I appreciate your time today, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Again, my name is Dawn Bowerman. I'm the owner of DB Hearing Center. We're located at 27 Fernwood Drive, Lancaster, New York. My telephone number is 716-800-800. 5440 and you can also visit our website at www.dbhearingcenters.com. Look forward to talking to you soon and have a wonderful day. It looks like it's going to be gorgeous out. Thank you so much.